What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to edit photos in Final Cut Pro. And I know some people are going to be like, why don't you just use Photoshop, why don't you just use Lightroom? Well, because I just haven't had the need to. Once you've figured out how to do some cool effects like sky replacement, and adding overlays and stuff like that. It's actually a really good program to edit photos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new library and event, and I'm just gonna import my photo into here. So I'm just gonna find it in my finder. I've got it right here. This is the photo that I wanna edit. Make sure your photo is the right way up before you import it into Final Cut Pro. So just rotate it into whichever position you want it in. So I'm just going to drag that into my event right there and now I'm going to click new project and what I'm going to do is use this automatic settings. Click OK and now when I import my photo into the timeline this window is going to come up and where it says video format you just want to click that and go down to custom and what that's going to do is actually just use the resolution of the photo so that it fits the screen perfectly and you don't even have to um, put it in or anything and then I'm gonna click OK so I think that's a really cool feature that not many people actually knew about and it makes this whole photo editing workflow work really well okay so the next step I'm just gonna add a LUT you can use a free LUT loader like MLUT um, but I like to use Color Finale because it's just a really good color grading program Okay, so the LUT I'm going to use is from my new Explorer LUT pack and I want to use the Orange Dolphin LUT just like that. If you're still unsure on how to add LUTs to change like the color profiles of your video or photo, then I will leave a link to the video on how to install and use LUTs uh, down below. Okay, so next step, I'm going to open up the color correction board in Final Cut Pro and I'm just going to boost the highlights right to the top. Basically, with the highlights, you just want to boost it as far as you can go until you start noticing that the highlights are blown out. And if they're blown out, then just drop it a little bit and uh, find like a nice area. Okay, before I do any more, I'm just going to drop the saturation down because I, I want to make this kind of like a moody, a moody photo and add some clouds in. So I don't want it too bright and vibrant. Okay, I'm going to go back to the exposure. I'm going to drop down my blacks a little bit so that some of the like crevices in here are like fully black and you can't see any detail and then I'm just gonna tweak the mid-tones slightly until I like the look of the photo cool so that I'm happy with how that looks right now let's have a look yeah that's cool I might even drop the saturation down a little bit more uh, just like that. Okay, and the next step I'm gonna add some overlays. I want to add some clouds into this So what I'm gonna do is just search for a smoke effect that I downloaded recently off YouTube There is free smoke effect and this is the smoke effect I'm gonna use to make it look like there's clouds in the shot and because it's a drone shot It's gonna look really cool. I'm just gonna drag that over the top of my photo I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna turn it around like that just so it fills the whole frame and then I'm going to move it over here a little bit and to get rid of the black what I'm going to do is go to blend mode and I'm just going to select screen and because it's a video I'm going to have to scrub through and see which bit I like and then all I'm going to do is select my shot hold down shift press H and that's just going to freeze frame that bit that I liked and I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, just like that. And then I'm actually gonna copy and paste this smoke and I'm gonna flip it and put it on the other side. And if you're getting quite a lot of layers over here and you have to scroll up and down, then you can actually just go over here and make those layers really uh, thin. So then you can see everything a bit better. So that looks really cool. The, the final thing I'm gonna do to this is just add a vignetting effect. And to do that, I'm gonna go into my color board. I'm gonna add another color correction. I'm gonna turn down the exposure. But what I'm gonna do is add a shape mask to this. 
and I'm going to select invert and that's going to add like a vignetting effect. Cool, so that looks pretty good. And now to export it, all you need to do is go up here to the share button, go to save current frame. And if you go to settings, you can actually choose um, quite a lot of different images. But what I'm going to do is just have JPEG. I'm going to click next. I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Uh, we'll, we'll put in photo, test, save that. And now I'm going to go to my desktop and that photo is right there. Cool. And there's a little before and after. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Really simple to edit photos in Final Cut Pro. And it's actually quite a powerful program once you know how to use it properly for editing photos. You can do a lot more advanced stuff as well, like sky replacement. If you watch some of my older videos, you'll figure out how to do that. And you can just use all of those video effects you used and just use those on your photos as well. I also just want to give a quick shout out to Charlie. He won the last camera gear giveaway competition. I think he's commented on like every single one of my videos since I started. So a true support of the channel right there. Uh, you deserve it. If you made it to the end of this video, then you'll probably realize that I kind of scrapped the whole two minute Tuesday tutorial thing because it kind of just restricts me from showing you guys what I want to show you. I'd rather the tutorials be a bit more detailed and less rushed, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.